Hey everyone, I needed to do a little plant cleanup today, so I figured I would document what I'm doing. This beautiful planter full of various tropical plants uh, is overflowing a little bit, and I kind of enjoy how unruly it is on this side. So you can see some of the monstera, the philodendron falling out, um, really, really all along the back, which is cool. That's fine, actually, this uh, philodendron Brazil. It's uh, become all yellow, and I really love that one especially. Um, I did stick a little bamboo stake, I guess. I don't know what shape is that, a U-shaped stake in here, just to try to allow for some of the plants to grow up a little bit. But um, yeah, we got this going on over here. So before it gets stepped on, uh, since it's blocking the pathway, I need to make a few cuttings and try to maybe reroute it to the other side, or at least to the side here, where I don't mind if it grows. Uh, but when I tried pulling on them, they were not budging because, you know, we're all overgrown over here too. So for at least one, two, three, four of these Monstera strands need a clip. That's what we're gonna do. So yeah, whenever you wanna make cuttings, you wanna make sure you got at least a few leaves on there. Any with air roots is also great. So I'm definitely gonna leave these air roots on here a little bit. And I'm probably gonna trim. I'm gonna trim right here. Okay, so that one, um, I can also trim that off because the roots are gonna come out of here. But it's kind of nice to have a little bit extra to stick in water. I'm gonna do some water propagation of these. Seems to be working much better for me than the than just sticking them back in the soil, which I typically do. All right, so this one, same thing. So taking a strand that already has some air roots on it and a bunch of leaves. You can see that the end here already did get stepped on, so it's about time. It's about time I'm doing this. So there's another one. So we got four good pieces trimmed here, and at least this is all along the side. And again, I don't mind. I can already see it. Oh, I have rooted a little bit here. So that's cool. Actually, that'll be nice. Maybe this will cover up some of my cool garbage. Maybe move those plants out of the way, too. And yeah, these roots seem like they're reaching for the soil. And a few of the roots have kind of attached itself onto the side of the house, which I would love for that to, to grow up a little bit. So, path is cleared. We got four cuttings to work with. So this is two weeks after making the cuttings on this monstera plant and the two largest pieces have root growth, um, new root growth on the bottom. They seem to, this one seems to be coming off of the aerial root that had formed. And this one is also coming off the aerial root that formed. Um, what I noticed about this one and um, didn't have on the other one is that I had aerial roots and nodes submerged in the water. I thought I had that on the other one or on the other ones on the other cuttings also, but turns out I didn't. And I think that that's key to getting root growth. Um, they'll stay alive, but I don't really see much root growth unless I have the nodes, uh, under the water. So I did actually fill up this water to be a little bit higher. Um, again, you can see some aerial roots at the top here, but they're not submerged. So what I think I'm going to do is trim off kind of this, this dead weight of stem so I can get some of the, the nodes and the roots submerged. But yeah, after two weeks, if you do have a cutting with aerial roots already on it or with the nodes under the water, you st should start to see some growth. So I'll wait probably another two weeks and then get these. That one's actually a pretty long one right there and get these into some soil. I'll continue to change out the water every couple of days. So they're healthy and we even have a new leaf about to come out. That doesn't look too bad. So yeah, they still look great in the water, but only really seeing roots where we had good spaces for root growth in the water. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to learn more with us.